Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Here comes RK Pro. An odd couple team, if there ever was one. When you look at Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, you know you're not looking at your typical tag team, but they have still found major success, guys. Multiple tag title reigns, successful tag victories at both SummerSlam and WrestleMania. They're already one of the best tag teams around, Byron. And if Randy can somehow continue to tolerate Riddle, they might be one of the best teams of all time. Randy Orton, one of the most methodical competitors around, one of the best to ever do it. Matt Riddle has an amazing striking and grappling skill. Really zero holes in the game of RK-Bro. Yeah, and every time RK-Bro competes together, they get just a bit more cohesive, just a bit more talented as a tag team. Yeah, they've already seen a lot of success, but I think we're only seeing the start of something extremely special in the form of RK Bro. The following contest is a tag team steel cage match and is for the Raw Tag Team. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperia. And their opponents at a combined weight of 466 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. RK Bro in the ring and 
What a long, strange road these guys have had. Bitter rivals who forged a genuine bond and became honest to God best friends. They've been through a lot of trials by fire, including each other. I'd say there's not a lot they can't handle. If they can make it work, maybe there's hope for you and Byron after all, Corey. Ah, it's a negative ghost rider. Well, we'll see how Riddle and Randy's chemistry hold up in this one. And at the risk of sounding morose, following the first elimination, one of these superstars will get absolutely dissected. Think about that for a Rip off the top turnbuckle. Only one way to go. Looking for his grip to get themselves over the cage. Oh my gosh, what impact! Real oh, oh, nice. We're in the steel cage. There's not exactly a lot of real estate to play with, which is why you have to know how to use the cage to your advantage because otherwise, it is absolutely not your friend. How do you suggest they do that, Corey? Push your opponent into the steel, throw him into it, grind him into it. Honestly, we've seen some inventive things in these matches, and I'm sure these superstars will think of even more things to do with their surroundings. Springboard misses the target. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. Uh oh Long drag reversal. The challenger eating up some damage. Compromised position here. Well, he's going to have a little bit. What's Vinci drawing up? Literally was ready for that one. in which 
that landed is still reverberating through the arena. The challenger being outclassed here. Only on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Oh, stop. What's he gonna do here? Back in the foot. Oh, that hurts. Pop way up. Driven down into a backbreaker. Oh, Riddle's in for it here. Now would be a good time to turn around. Have the Viper scattered.